Well, Gareth, you must be absolutely delighted with that uh, win this afternoon. Yeah, I, th I think it's more for the fact that we haven't won for a long time. It's nice now that we've banged in a result and to do it on the road as well, especially in well, we don't know what's going to be happening with the Heineken Cup, but to do it in the Heineken Cup is fantastic for us. And now, hopefully now it'll kick us on now leading into the rest of the season for us. In that opening half hour, it looked like weeks of frustration was coming out in the players, so you played some brilliance there. Uh, no, I wouldn't say it was frustration. I think that's just what we talked about doing. You know, we talked about going out and fighting for everything, and uh, I think you've seen that in the first 30 minutes. And we played in the right areas of the field, and then we were just a little disappointed with how we finished that, that last 10 minutes of that first half. But uh, there was definitely opportunities to maybe bang in a couple of tries, maybe, and you never know. It was a different game. You know, there was a couple of times we were on their line, and they defended really well, and if we'd have come away with a try there, but a different game, maybe. But um, you got to give credit to Cardiff. You know they were fighting to try and get themselves in into the next stage of this competition. And you know, fair play to our fellas. You know, we came up here. We knew, you know, we, we knew we couldn't really we get we, we can't progress in the competition. But we want to get ourselves sorted for the rest of the season. I think we've started off, and hopefully we can continue through now. A lot of changes in the front row with injuries, but the, the front row and the pack in general did you proud of? Oh, the pack were incredible. You know, that's that's what we wanted from them. You know, we know it's in them. Um, you know, and their fight was incredible. You know, they're driving on the scrums. You know, it was great whenever you know, whenever every time there's a scrum going down, you're, ne you know, 90% maybe going to get a penalty, which is great for us. And they, you know, they, those guys got us those penalties and uh, got us the good field position that we were talking about. And thankfully, we got the opportunity to put some points on the board, and we did. Skipper for the day, but you led by example. Your decision making and, and your 100% kicking success rate today. Yes, yeah, not too bad, eh? So uh, yeah, very pleased, obviously, with, with myself. But uh, you know, it's a performance that I think the guys are going to be really proud of. I think for us, uh, we've, like you said, it's, it's just about us getting the result, and uh, we've got that result now. So maybe we've got that monkey off our back now, and we can push on with the season. And uh, yeah, really pleased, obviously, to come away with the win. If you've got a kick in these conditions to have an artificial pitch must be good rather than a mud heap. But, uh... Uh, well, as long as it's not blowing a gale, yeah. it's never that bad. So <laughs> whether it's a mud heap or not, as long as it's not blowing a gale, I'll never that mind. Exeter seem to enjoy playing Welsh teams. It's, it's two years running, you've done the double over the Welsh teams in the Heineken Cup. But, uh... Yeah, um, I don't know if it's about enjoying them. Uh, I think, <laughs> you know, we just go out and we like to attack every game that we can. And uh, obviously now it's great to have done a double over a side who's got Lions in it and international quality players and uh, for us that's only going to give us more confidence as we go on through the season and uh, you know we will take a lot of learns out of this there's been a few things we need to work on obviously um, but our intensity was fantastic and can't fault the boys for that. Talking of Welsh teams another one up next week at Sandy Park in the LB Cup Ospreys how are you looking ahead to that? Uh, well, yeah obviously you know we'll enjoy this win and uh, get ourselves ready for next week uh, not sure what way the team will be picked or whatever and the guys will probably get another opportunity to put their hands up you know for uh, as we lead into that Northampton Northampton week, and uh, but again, I expect now we've we've set a set a high bar there today, and hopefully now we just got to push on, push on, and uh, get ourselves ready for what's going to be a big end of the season. Brilliant.